Hi, I'm Robert Wilhite with UAVGroundSchool.com. Hey, there's a lot of buzz about the new changes that FAA has listed in its Notice of Proposed Rulemaking, or NPRM, that was released in January. The two biggest topics it covers are flying at night and flying over people. In the drone world, you can't pick two more hotly debated topics. For this video, we're going to focus on the flying at night part. Currently, all daylight waiver applications have to be submitted using the Drone Zone website. Under the proposal, waivers to fly at night would no longer be required. Anyone who passes the new knowledge test and recurrent test would be certified to fly at night without any waivers. At least that's what the proposal says. But wait, what about those who currently hold a valid daylight waiver like me? Well, the NPRM doesn't specifically address how our existing waivers will be handled. That leaves us to anticipate that our waivers will remain in effect, but once the new tests are taken, they'll no longer be relevant. In a recent video regarding this NPRM, we actually discussed a realistic time frame for the full rollout of the FAA changes. If you haven't submitted your daylight waiver using FAA Drone Zone, thinking you'll just wait till the new changes are in effect, then your wait will probably be longer than you might think. We're talking no earlier than 2020. How did we come up with that date? Remember, an NPRM is sent to Congress for approval and then it's signed into law. Once that happens, the implementation process starts. The Part 107 study material has to be revised. The knowledge and recurrent tests have to be revised. And finally, all those changes have to be uploaded to the FAA UAV webpage ready for you and me to access. Bottom line, if you need to fly at night or you anticipate that you will, then you're better off submitting your waiver application now through FAA Drone Zone. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting a lot longer than what social media and forums suggest. So to recap the proposed changes, Number one, no more daylight waiver applications using FAA Drone Zone. Number two, new Part 107 study material. Number three, new knowledge and recurrent tests. And number four, 2020 or longer before full implementation. Be sure to check out other videos we've done on this NPRM. They're short, topic focused, and easy to understand. If this video was helpful, then click on the like button below and definitely subscribe to this channel. You can also follow us on Facebook at uavgroundschool.com.